Hey guys, it's Greg at Panels R Us with another 5 minute masterclass. In today's video we're going to just talk about uh, how to back up your instance of FPP and restore it in case you have any problems. Now this conveniently might help you out if you've just upgraded or you're just about to upgrade to the new FPP version 6 that came out today. Now, in an ideal world, you wouldn't need to back up and restore your instance of FPP because your configuration would all be done from within Xlites. In Xlites, you'd have all your layout, you'd have all your sequences and everything ready to go. And all you'd simply do would be go to Tools, FPP Connect. It would find your new instance of FPP uh, version 6 such as this one here and you could then push your sequences your media your models and all of the UDP out data which would be used to set up your controllers etc on FPP you'd push it all from here along with your sequences and out it goes now not everybody has FPP um, sorry X lights properly configured like that. They might have done some tweaking of things and they might have done some manual configuration in FPP. Um, that means you can't just push it out of X lights. Um, but ideally this would be the optimum way to go. So let's come out of X lights. There it goes. And here's our instance of FPP version 5.5. Now I'm sure some people will be saying, well, why can't I just upgrade my current version of FPP 5.5 to the new version 6? Um, part of the upgrades to FPP 6 include an upgrade, upgrade to the underlying operating system. Um, and there could be hiccups and things that you might trip over later if you do an in-place upgrade. So I would recommend that you flatten your SD card and install a fresh new copy of FPP6 on there, ready for FPP and it's ready to go then, um, with nothing that's gonna trip over later, nothing that's gonna cause any problems. You've got a nice, flat, clean build, um, ready to go for your season uh, later in the year. Now, if you haven't, if you've done configuration in here manually, um, and you want to save it and restore it, how do you do it? So it's really simple actually. All you need to do is to go to status control, FPP backup. And it talks at the top here about a backup configuration. And that's exactly what we want to do. Do we want to protect sensitive data? Yes, we do. That's just gonna obfuscate some of the data so it's not easily readable in the backup file. What parts of our config do we want to back up? Now we can back up the entire configuration. Now bearing in mind this is the configuration, this is not your sequences, this is not your sound, your MP3s or your MP4 videos and things like that. This is just the configuration of FPP. Now things that it's gonna back up include the channel inputs, the channel outputs, any pixel overlay models, GPIO setups, things like that. All sorts of, all the things that you can see in this list here. Um, we, for the backup, I would suggest that you back up everything, even if you don't think you need everything. Back the whole lot up, the file is quite tiny um, and then should you need it later, you've got it. Whereas if you don't back it up and then you find you need it, then you're in a bit of a pickle. So I'm gonna back up everything and I'm just gonna hit download configuration. There we go. And it's given us a small two kilobyte JSON file, which is downloaded onto the backups folder of the PC that I'm working on here. Now, from the configuration point of view, that's all we need to do to back up FPP. If you've got 
things like sequences um, or media videos and things that you can't push back out from X lights and you want to back up then you can also back those up but onto a USB stick um, or to another instance of FPP um, if you've got one so you could back up to a remote FPP if you have another instance you can push it out to there um, I'm going to use USB in this example so I'm going to go to back up to USB I've put my USB uh, stick into the Pi that I'm using here uh, it's a 4 gig stick and it's formatted to about 3.8 so that's fine it's given us a backup path and it's asking us what we want to copy so configuration playlists events plugin sequences images scripts effects music videos, everything really um, so I'm going to hit copy on that and there we go it's created a file list and if we look down yet yeah, there's a couple of sequences that I have on this Pi that is pushed out uh, and to be fair that's not a lot else on this Pi but if there was other stuff that would have gone too so it's pushed everything out onto the USB stick so there we are we've backed up the configuration of FPP and we've backed up all of our sequences and everything else that we had on there as well so now you could go ahead and flatten your Raspberry Pi or your BBB's SD card and install a new version of FPP version 6 and get that just up and running. Now in a Blue Peter moment, which the guys in the UK will understand, here's one we made earlier. And this is our instance of FPP 6 that is up ready to go. Now all I've done is go through the very basic setup at the beginning. Uh, I've given it an IP address, um, host name, the network settings. I've expanded the file system and I've stopped there. So there's nothing else set up on here. So if I go to input output setup, channel outputs, there's nothing set up on here at all. And that needs to be configured. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore uh, my settings from the FPP version 5.5. So I'm going to go to status control, FPP backup. And I'm going, to down, I'm going to go down a little bit further this time to restore configuration. Now there's a couple of tick boxes of things that you might want to keep. So keep existing network settings. Uh, the IP address on this Pi is actually slightly different, so I want to keep the network settings that I've manually set up here. Keep existing master remote settings. Well, I want them to come across from the other Pi, so no. And then which area of the backup do I want to restore? Now, I mentioned just now that I wanted to back up everything, and then I've got everything just in case. But if you only want to actually restore part of it, here you can select which bits you want to restore. I'm going to restore everything apart from obviously the network settings, which is detailed here. So I'm going to browse. I'm going to go into my downloads folder. Select the backup that we just made. And open. And then I'm going to hit restore again. There we go. So it has now restored the settings and it wants me to restart FPPD. So I'll hit restart. FPPD has restarted. And if I now go to the status page. a little think about it. If BP does this sometimes it has a little think about life. Have we broken it?
there it is so it's back now that's interesting because it's actually re changed our host name to FPP55 but I know but it says it's version 6 up there and if we do a quick about it is version 6 um, so it's actually changed my host name here to FPP version 55 even though I told it not to change network settings Um, it has done. It's changed the host name. So, okay. That's fine. That's a little gotcha for you. Now, the big thing I was looking for in this restoration of network configuration was my input output channel outputs. And there we go. So it has brought in from our FPP55 my Pi Hat settings. So it's identified that we've got a cape and it's set it up as a Pi Hat and given it the same channel information that I had on my old one. And I had an E131 output as well and it's brought that in as well and set that up just the same. Now the last thing I want to do is just to bring in the sequences that I had on the US that I saved to the USB stick. So I'm just going to move the USB stick across to this other Pi. There we go, let's plug that in. And if I now go to status control, backup, file copy backup, I want to restore from USB. I want to restore from the FPP55 folder and I just want to bring in, because we only had um, a couple of sequences on there, I'm just going to undo all of this and just bring in the sequences. But if you had other files, then you obviously you bring those in instead. So we'll copy those. Do you want to confirm restore of sequences? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Here they came. We've brought those two across. And if I now go to my content setup, file manager, there we go. You can see that my two sequence files have now been restored. So there we go. The five minute masterclass today took a little bit longer. That's uh, closer to 14 minutes by the time we wrap this up. But hopefully it's given you an overview of how to back up your FPP if you need to, how to restore it, and then you should be good with a nice FPP version 6 install fresh from the image um, and not trying to go through any uh, upgrades or anything like that. So I hope that helped. Take care, have fun, and we'll see you on the next one.